Hey Team Naturals, it's Team Frolista here and today I'm doing the common natural girl tag. I was tagged by um, Rayan410. You guys should check out her channel. It's really like awesome. I watch her channel and I'm subscribed to her channel and I came across this video today where basically like she did the common natural girl tag which basically talks about all these different things pertaining to natural hair and some things aren't. Some things are just for fun but yeah. And I tag you guys to do it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer the questions. Number one, what's your first, what's your favorite smoothie or juice drink? I have to say it's a tie between strawberry and banana because like that was my first one that like I ever had and that I love and will always love. And then like one that I've been getting into more recently is like a green drink. Yeah. So it's a tie between strawberry banana and some sort of green juice or green drink. Number two, how long does it take you for how long does it take for you to do your hair in the morning? Mm, I'd have to say it takes about five to ten minutes depending on if my hair is already in a style or not. Like excuse me, if it's like mini twisted or like in some sort of style already then it'll probably take like five minutes or less but if it's like this which means that it will be in like four to six like large twists or plaits then it's gonna take about maybe five to ten minutes or more okay number three what are your favorite natural girl hashtags that you like to use on twitter or instagram well concerning twitter i don't really get on there that much i prefer to be on instagram and facebook but when i am on instagram I like to use the hashtags curly girl, teen natural, like a teen natural, team natural, natural hair, curly, stuff like that. Number four, what's your hair type? To be honest with you, I don't know what my hair type is. I'm still trying to figure that out. I think it's like a mixed hair type, which means like it's somewhere between like 3C and 4C, like I feel like it has a little bit of all of that in there. I just know it's like thick. And number five, tell us your worst hair story. Hmm. I have to say it was this time like where I was, um, I had to wake up and go somewhere last minute and I didn't have time to do my hair. So I just had to wear my hair like how it was, which was like in like some twists that were all over the place. I made it work though, like I put a bow on it. I made this bow actually. I sew like, I sew stuff too. That's something I'm not sure if you guys knew. Yeah, so I put a bow in it and kept it moving even though the twists were like all crazy and everything. So I guess that was my worst hair story. Number six, do you let people touch your hair? Explain. I, I mean, I'm not against people touching my hair. I, pre I do prefer for them to, like, ask before they touch my hair. Like, that's something that's really important to me. Like, when I was in middle school, people would just try and, like, walk up and try and touch my hair. And I'm like, no. Stop it. Yeah, but, but to basically answer that question, yes, I do as long as I like you and I'm familiar with who you are. If I don't know who you are and... I don't like like the energy you're giving off, then no, you're not touching my hair. Number seven, are you a natural Nazi? No, definitely not. Like, I, as much as I do see like the value in natural hair, like it's important that your hair is healthy too, you know? Like as long as you're taking, if, you're take, if you take care of like, if you take care of like your relaxed care, your relaxed hair or your colored hair it can grow it's just like whether or not you take care of it or not you know so it's not really about like oh we need to have natural hair such and such all sorts of stuff even though I, I am an advocate for natural hair for teens like as long as you like take care of your hair and it's healthy and you like it you should do just do you so that's how I feel about that number eight what's a natural girl problem you go through regularly I have to say the number one problem that I'm dealing with right now is shrinkage. It happens when I have mini twists. It happens when I do a full stretched out fro with banding or bantu knots or braids or twists or anything. 
my hair just loves to shrink up back to my scalp. And I mean, I guess it's just something that I'm, I'm learning to deal with. Yeah, it's something that I'm learning to deal with. That's definitely one of my natural hair problems. Number nine, favorite natural hair blogger or blogger? Well, I have a few, but I'm just gonna list them real quick for you. Natural 85, Rayan 410, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll, Hair Crush, Taryn Guy, Mm, who else? Oh yeah, nat natural natural chica, natural natural beauty xoxo, and there's a few other people, but I can't remember them right now. But yeah, like those are the main people that I watch. Number ten, favorite old school celebrity, naturalista. I have to say Lauren Hill, like. I always loved how natural hair looks on her and that's somebody like when I was growing up that I remember like seeing with different natural hairstyle natural hairstyles that like inspires me and everything so yeah Lauren Hill number 11 are you a product junkie um when I was first like I mean I've been natural all my life so like but the, the but the thing is like I haven't I've really like began experimenting and like allowed to do my own hair in like eighth grade so yeah in the very beginning like I was a product junkie and if I don't like look after it I can be but to be honest with you I'd have to say that I'm not really one because like if I'm if a product isn't working for me like usually um nine times nine times out of ten I'm gonna wind up throwing it away so I have to say, all in all, the answer to am I a product junkie would be no. Number 12, if you could change anything about your hair, what would you change? Hmm. I would change that, like, it seems to drink up moisture really quickly, so I would change that my hair could retain moisture, like, for longer periods of time. <laughs> That's what I would change about my hair. Number 13, how do guys react to your hair? Mm, this That's an interesting question. Well, nowadays, like, whenever I come across guys, usually they're like, I like, I love your hair. You know, how long have you been natural? Stuff like that. But, like, when I was in middle school, and especially in the eighth grade, like, people used to tease me and, like, make fun of my natural hair because, like, back then it seemed like, I mean, we used to have always been in, but it seemed like they're kind of like starting to get on the rise again. And like, they would just be like, oh, is that your real hair? Or your hair is nappy girl, all this other crazy stuff. But now it seems like whenever I go around guys, like they like my hair and they just want to know more about it and everything. They would ask if they can touch it, all this other crazy stuff. So yeah, that's the answer to that question. Fifth, um, 14. What's an annoying question people ask you about your hair? I have to say, the one of the most annoying questions people ask me about my hair is, is that all of your hair? Yes, it's my hair. Like, come on, people. I mean, if you just genuinely don't know, then that's okay, you know? I'm not, there's not, I don't have anything against, like, answering your questions and stuff about natural hair, but, like, if you're just doing it to be rude or just be, like, mess around with people come on like just stop it really though 15 would you consider relaxing your hair for a million bucks no no thank you because like as i don't know to be honest with you like i don't know like i would miss my nap i would miss my natural hair too much to be honest with you like i like the versatility of natural hair sure you can do all these different styles like with relaxers too but I don't really want I don't want that no sorry money is not that important so yeah if you hear people talking in the background then it's either my mom and my sister so just don't worry about them but yeah definitely like a, a, a million bucks is not worth like getting a relaxer yeah sorry about that. no definitely not 16 how do I usually style my hair I usually wear it in a puff or I put it in mini twist 
or well I used to do yarn braids so yeah it kind of varies basically on how I'm feeling but it's usually in a puff or mini twist or in a bun those are like the three top styles mini twist puff and bun so yeah 17 what is your favorite ratchet song out right now I have to say it's probably um on the floor by ice jj fish like that is my boy right there like he is so funny i love his like i'm i'd have to say that like even though people like really make fun of him and like say oh you can't sing all this stuff like he's still out there and he's still like pursuing his dream you know so yeah that's my favorite ratchet song out on the floor by ice jj fish you guys should like research him too Okay, yeah, but those are all the questions, and once again, I tag you guys. Bye!